New at 9, police in Owasso are asking for help catching a group of people behind a series of crimes in one night. Yeah, they include breaking into a dispensary and into several cars, as well as stealing a car as well. Fox 23's Alex Cash shares who police are looking for. Demaria's pool showed me the damage left behind after a break-in at T-Nug's dispensary, where he works near German Corner in Owasso. We saw... The windows broke in, broken into, our glass got broken into, and some edibles were missing. It hurt us, and it definitely have our hairs and ears up. In the early morning of January 4th, the front window was broken. It's boarded up now, but you can still see the broken glass. These pictures taken from the video of the break-in show a group grabbing items from one of the dispensary's cabinets. Pool told me the damage cost them thousands of dollars. At the end of the day, it's a bummer. No business wants to get, you know, broken into, and nobody wants to lose any product or, like, come out of pocket for anything. This is like $5,000 worth of damage. You know, that always we suck you know we have to bring people in and get everything replaced and restructured and at the end of the day like our main concern is making sure our customers are safe as well as our employees. Owasso police are hunting for the people behind the break-in. I spoke with Deputy Chief Jason Woodruff. He told me the suspects might be linked to a series of other crimes that happened the same night. The car that was used in that burglary was stolen from another location in Owasso and then we've also linked that same we believe the same group of people also broke into several, burglarized several cars. So uh, just kind of a series of events. Woodruff told me the stolen car used in the dispensary break-in was found dumped a few hours later. He also says they think the same group might be behind multiple vehicle break-ins in Owasso neighborhoods on the same night too. The report that we confer confirmed that they were uh, items were taken for those car, from those cars, but we think there was probably more that people didn't realize that their cars had actually been gone through. Deputy Chief Woodruff says help from the community is important. The sooner that we can try to identify these people and get charges filed, the, uh, the faster we can get them off the streets and hopefully reduce the amount of crime that's occurring. That was Alex Cash reporting. Police do not think this is linked to a string of car break-ins in Owasso last year. They say they do see upticks at certain times of the year, generally when school is out.